what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk guys we <laughs> stop the show we we know Cardi B has been sandaling it up weaving it up and thotting it up with WAP and as many of you guys have understood WAP could not keep her from arguing and sticking with Offset. And now she's having a divorce, okay? And everybody's talking about it, like right after that video is like the number one song in the United States and in the world. She's now on her way to single motherhood. Oh, hell no! Which is what we knew about Cardi B because she really cannot even read or write. Bruh. But Cardi B recently has addressed why she left Offset. Oh my God. And one of the reasons why is because she just got tired of arguing with her, with him, you know. They weren't seeing eye to eye in the relationship. You know, she she left before she got cheated on. She didn't leave him for the other infidelities in the relationship, but rather she left him before she got cheated on because she just got tired of arguing. But the reason why she got tired of arguing, it has nothing to do with Offset. She got tired of arguing because it has everything to do with her. You see, I'm going to play the clip, but I, I mean, again, I want to talk about this. Cardi B can only attract a certain type of man. And I'm not saying that she's not attractive or she's not pretty, no. But Cardi B would not want to date a guy that's a lawyer or a doctor or a normal business person because Car Cardi B is Thotty B. <laughs> she... It's not going to be entertained by somebody like that. Cardi B is the type of person that needs to have a struggle love type of relationship. She needs to have a struggle. She need to be struggling. She need to be crying. Like she cannot have a functional relationship with anybody. That because Cardi B is not a functional person. All of her life she's been stripping. Not all her life, but you know she was doing that, robbing people at all. You know she said Car Cardi B is starting it up. All right. So she got what she asked for because that is her. That's her life, all right? Her life is dealing with low lives, like Offset, you know, like other guys. And that's the only kind of guy that she can get along with. But the problem is this. The aha moment is when you realize that dealing with dudes in the struggle, even you get tired of arguing. See, when you're dealing with a guy, he's exciting, He's fun. It's it's interesting. You don't talk about how you argue. And now you got a baby. She getting older. She might want to play a thought on TV. Oh my God. Oh, you know, but Cardi B is getting older. She's settling down. She's going to want somebody to be a committed father and a committed husband. The problem is Offset isn't that. She he isn't that. And the reason why he isn't that because I'm going to tell you, she ain't the kind of woman that deserve a guy like that. She's not the kind of woman that deserves a guy like that. She's not, in my opinion. Some women deserve it, Cardi B doesn't. Now you're mad because you've been arguing with him and now you want to divorce him. But you're the reason why you're marrying him in the first place. You stupid. And guys, let me do this. I want to play this excerpt of her trying to, you know, put it all on him. Like it's all his fault. Why she ain't married. But guys, let's go ahead and listen to that clip. I'll come back and we'll wrap it up funk beat that it have and um uh i want to tell people also as well because i've been seeing that it's like oh why is it when i do like hit you know what i'm not even gonna talk about it people could just suck my dick about that like whatever another thing i want to say is right because i've been seeing a lot of people talking first of all no i want to say this first right <laughs> i'm sorry y'all i get nervous when i get on live um, I've been seeing all the love and prayers and everything that you guys been sending me. And I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you so much. However, like, I don't really need it. Like, I'm okay. Uh, I want to let y'all know I have not shed not one tear. You know, every single time that, you know, this guy have done something so crazy, so fucked up. And it hits the media. I'm always crying. I'm always stressed out. I'm sad because... I don't like that type of shit. This time, I wasn't crying. You want to know why? Because 
it wasn't the reason my of my divorce is not because of none of that shit that ever happened before it's not because of cheating i'm seeing people like oh he has a baby on the way that's a whole fucking complete lie there's like the second time that people's trying to pin babies over here no that's bullshit um i just i just got i just got tired of fucking arguing i got tired of not seeing things eye to eye so before when when you feel like it's just not the same anymore before you actually get cheated on i'd rather just leave you know what i'm saying like i'm tired of people saying that i'm paying blogs what another thing i'm not i don't just because i get along with bloggers and the bloggers that i get along with if they ask me a question because there has been so much rumors going around why the reason if they ask me a question and I answer them, that's not them paying. That, that's not me paying them. I'm giving them an honest answer. So they're going to tell their platform the answer. I'm tired of people saying, oh, sources, sources said this, sources close to Cardi, close, sources close to Offset. That is a lie. Because why have these sources didn't say nothing a couple of days before I wanted to get a divorce? Now y'all want to say something after it comes out. That's not true. And another thing is, I don't talk to people. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only, I'm only around my family. I don't talk, I don't talk to people from my label unless it's about music. And I don't talk to none of the people that I work with unless it's about a project that I'm about to do. So stop with the bullshit that sources told y'all. There is no fucking sources. Because where were the sources before the shit hit the, the thing? And another thing that I want to say is... Because a lot of people saying that I got a divorce for clout because um, one, one time I did an interview and I said that my, that my album is going to have some lemonade moments. I didn't say my album was going to be like lemonade. I said it's going to have lemonade moments. Of course, like, like for example, uh, be careful, ring, and uh, be careful, ring, and uh, through your phone, right? Those are relationship songs. So, of course, I'm going to have relationship songs on my album. My album is not going to be about only relationship. I'm a hip-hop artist. I, I talk about, like, I, I'm not an R&B artist. I'm a hip-hop artist. And on top of that, the same interviews that y'all got that from is the same interviews where I said I don't have an album coming out anytime soon. I don't have an album coming out anytime soon. And I'm very indecisive of my next single. So is I'm not doing it for no clout, and on top of that, I don't need stunts, I don't need drama to sell music. Right now, my song WAP is number one in the U.S. and it's number one worldwide. And I'm not trying to brag, but don't ever say that I'm doing anything for clout because I'm gonna drop something. Fuck out of here. My first my first album is three times platinum, and I ain't needed no fucking stunts to do that. This song, my 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 fucking. Uh, a single right now is number one worldwide. Why would I need? Why would I need a, something personal to sell my next anything that I'm dropping? I don't. I don't need that. I don't need stunts. I don't need stunts, and I don't need any stunts that comes to family to sell anything. So don't ever play yourself. I don't understand why people um want want the the. The reason for the divorce to be something so so bad is it's not nothing nothing crazy out of this world happened. Sometimes people really do fucking grow apart. I've been with this man for four years. All right, you heard what she had to say. Again, always the guy's fault, not her fault. Bruh. Offset is not marriage material. We know that. The biggest problem is neither are you. Neither are who you. You are Thotty B. Like, what did you expect him to like? I mean, you 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 got this guy from where? This guy has more tattoos on his face than most prisoners. What did you expect a guy like Offset was gonna do? Like, imagine this: you actually have dumb people in America. You know, like imagine the, the child. Cardi B is your mom. Offset is your dad. Oh hell no! How far do you think that? that that these people will do in life he already had four kids before he met you four kids at 28 by the way now i'm 38 with with no kids he has four this is the guy you want to get married to now you're mad this guy is not built for a relationship and i don't think you had any kids 
you are an idiot. You're a type of woman that can't compete. You can't, nobody in the upper echelon, just like Nicki Minaj. You know, they're always dating down. Nicki Minaj had Meek Mill. Now she's with the guy that's, you know, you know the situation, right? Bruh. The next guy Cardi B will be dating, she'll go from Offset to O'Shea Duke Jackson. <laughs> I'll be hitting that next probably. <laughs> well, <laughs> might be right now, but <laughs> anyways, that's all I got for today. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Guys, check out the Negro Manosphere um, voting poll. Check that out. Also, check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. Check that out also. And check out everything else uh, below uh, the Patreon, all my stuff. Always remember the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.